welcome to this place of remembrance. Here in this sacred circle, we pause to remember all those who perished in the bombing and crash of Pan Am Flight 103. As we gather here, many of the families of the victims, along with representatives from Syracuse University, have assembled at Arlington National Cemetery in Washington, D.C. for their own time of remembrance and reflection. Across the miles, we join our hearts as one. Thirty years ago, this day, the world was plunged into darkness as 270 lives were lost. We remember that day as vividly as it were yesterday. On that day, it seemed our future was stolen. Here at Syracuse University, we lost a generation. 35 young lives lost before their potential and possibility could be realized. The families and friends of the victims of Pan Am 103 have over the years been light for the world through their tireless pursuit of justice and endless struggle for safer regulations. Building schools and hospitals, creating foundations for the arts, and promoting world peace, these survivors teach us how to live in the aftermath of tragedy. May this day turn us all towards the light, in ourselves, in each other, and in the world. And may we reach out to those who suffer now, that in time they too also might find their way to healing and to wholeness, to peace and to reconciliation. We cannot change the past but we can change the future. Indeed, we must change the future. Let's pause for a moment of silence together. Friends, thank you for gathering this day when we depart in peace.
I just went over I just went over there and said, hey, anybody wants to anything, we'll be over here. But, oh man, don't worry about it. But we're going to talk to... Yeah. Andy, if you want to get some time, we'll